Opposite a furniture shop called everything but the girl Rocket shaped signs declared space made A brother of a brother-in-law tore all the houses down Moved the people to the outskirts To places where the buses run
guitar by choir right now. I'm very scared. <laughs> you know, um, like, I, I, I came to Detroit in 1979 and I thought that was fucking great, really. And I, I couldn't believe it, you know, because of the, like, the MC5 and, you know, and the Motown thing and, you know, the Stooges and all. I mean, all that shit, you know what I mean? Well, I'm not shit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and, and, uh, so it was very intimidating. And, uh, I still find it somehow intimidating. The buildings are magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. And they scare me a bit. They're just so big and dark. <laughs> and, uh, and the neighbour, I mean, like you could get murdered here, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you, young, why not? Yeah, yeah, I mean, even if you didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't suppose many people do want to get murdered. And I mean, murder tourism isn't something that you hear much about. You know. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Cleveland this year. We're hoping to get murdered. Yeah. Mm, so do I. <laughs> I nearly did get murdered in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's Cleveland. Yeah, have you ever heard of Rory Gallag Gallagher? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I opened yes. for Rory Gallagher in Cleveland. Yeah. Shortly before we came, oh, it was after we came to Detroit because we drove from LA, Los Angeles to Detroit. Which we, yeah, it was a bit of a long drive. Because <laughs> they kept canceling all the shows, you know. And then we arrived, in, I mean, we were fucking half mad by the time we got here, which was just as well, because I had to stay in a motel and there was like a, a big window with a gantry, a sort of like walkway that rattled and like people kept rattling the walkway as they walked up and down it making drug deals and threatening to shoot each other in silhouette outside the window all night. And, uh, you know, I mean, like... Uh, that was me. Uh, yeah. I thought so, yeah. Look at nice for silhouette. Um, yeah, so I'm just here to talk to you about stuff. We'll talk about Jesus Christ in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, um. Future records. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh. It's very weird. I mean, me and me is, is a weird thing because like, there's you all looking at me and not me looking back at you. This is no profession for anyone who's insecure. I mean, not that I profess to having a profession exactly. You know, I've just been trundling around getting away with it, really. Anyway. <laughs>
it's not it's not good enough. It's just that it's no fun, see. I was brought up on bland, schooled in mundane. We never had fancy when we could have had plain.
went away. You don't have to put the amplifier in the monitors, you know. It's a, I don't know if people do that. It's, I know it's an industry standard, but I don't really care about it. <laughs> if it is in, I mean, it might be that. Sometimes they do that. The sound man here has got a brain. I like him. I like everyone here. I even like you. Sometimes I look at the people and I just don't like them. I can't help it. I mean, we're all only human, you know. But most of the time I'm quite lucky.
see if we can sort this out because something's going very strange with the sound up here. But I don't usually mind. <laughs> I probably don't mind now, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> I thought that was quite good, you know, matching house and guitar, I mean, <laughs> sort of thing that a pop singer aspires to, really, you know, you know, everything matching like that, and, yeah, if you've got any compression on this, take it off, you probably haven't, <laughs> but it keeps coming and going, let me see if I can make this work, that's promising. Yeah. 
it's gone The fragile here and now Where we got time As time moves on
Well, I must be the stay-at-home kind You see, I've been everywhere before Everywhere all look the same The furniture, the bikers, the road signs And even the night
two cars to pass each other on this bridge and when you get there when you get to America it says welcome to America and then there are all these things that say closed 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 nothing they're doing a better job than I really have thought they could you know so quickly I mean they haven't built the, I mean are they going to build a wall between here and Canada I mean oh yeah Betty, Betty. I call her Betty. She's called Betsy. Betsy DeVos. Oh. <laughs> a lovely woman. A lovely, lovely woman. I mean, don't you just love her? <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to want to get her hands dirty, is she? Well, anyway, they won't have to build the wall because they're going to end the world instead. I think um, it seems weird, really. I've been really enjoying going out and playing, and now I'm thinking, better enjoy it, because uh, by next Thursday it might be all over. <laughs> and I wonder how it will be. I'm not going to go underground. Are you going to go underground? I'm just going to drive fucking alpha leather towards the centre of the blast. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So has everyone voted? Like last time I came here, you know, it was the summer, and like, um, you know, there was going to be this election, and, and it was between Crooked Hillary and, and Fat Cunt. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm down, I don't want to speak as bloody name. Yeah. But like, you know, I would say, you know, I don't have a vote, so if you were thinking of not voting, would you please vote? Vote for me. Please. You know, but some people didn't vote. Was there anyone here who didn't vote? 
Yeah, you see, it's kind of like, then you have to learn something because they said, well, if you don't like it, suck it up. And that's exactly what you're going to have to do because there's this lagoon, this cesspit, the one that they were going to drain and it's all full of fucking putrid vomit. And yes, you didn't vote, you got to suck it all up. So, what you have to do... I can't do it here, but I do it in the UK because I'm only a green card holder and I think it's taxation without representation, but never mind, you know, I can't even vote in the fucking library election. They all say, well, we wish you could vote because they're such nice ladies at our library. We can all read where I come from, you know, I mean, like, we're going to put a stop to that, but for the moment, everyone can read. Yes. Um, I don't know. I, I can't even think straight. Never mind. <laughs> but please, would you vote next time? For yes. fuck's sake, you cannot fucking complain about the shit that we're in if you don't fucking vote. So fucking vote. Vote for somebody who isn't, you know, unless you're like me, unless you're a green card holder, of course, you know, and then you can't vote. And I will not get fucking citizenship because I will have to stand there and fucking pledge allegiance to fucking Donald Duck. And have my photo taken going with my fucking certificate under his fucking photo. I don't fucking think so, but for the moment, tax evasion. Don't pay any fucking tax, he doesn't. You don't. It's the American way. Files got gremlins in it. It's probably the FBI. I don't know what it is, but there's something going up with it.